Okay, uh, today I like to show you how I finish uh, assemble, trim and assemble in teapot that I made two days ago. Uh, it's going to be the side handle teapot. So this is the handle I, I drew uh, two days ago and then uh, fit in the spout for a teapot. Um, the tool I will use, of course, it will be the my regular uh, trimming tool, the number two uh, trimming tool. This is tungsten carbide, and um, I've been used for a uh, couple months without uh, resharpening it. And uh, also, I will use my number three, uh, also the carbide tool. You can use a stainless steel. Um, the reason I'm using it because I since I used my carbide tool. It's hard for me to move back because uh, I don't need to resharpen as often as my stainless steel tool. And also, I will put a little bit of a chattering mark. So this is my regular uh, stainless steel uh, number one. So that's the three pieces of the tool I will use. And then for uh, cutting the uh, spout to uh, fit the body, I will use my number seven to uh, trim and trim this to fit so that's number seven and then after that um, after assemble it of course I need to have a hole puncher to make uh, the holes strength for for so the uh, tea leaves doesn't come off so a hole puncher and a brush to uh, brush the slip over and then I'm uh, using uh, the plastic knife. This is from a fast food store that I, uh, I get it. And then uh, I use the sandpaper, just remove the teeth. So this part will be smooth. And after uh, I assemble the spout and uh, the handle, I can smooth the corners. Okay, so that's the tool I will use. And first I will trim the body and then I try to uh, trim the, the foot first and then move it, turn it upside down and then uh, trim a little bit so the lid will fit nicely in. Now the lid is a little bit uh, wide so I will uh, try to fit so they will fit in nicely in here and then trim the lid right on top of the body. Okay, and this is my plan. So I will do the uh, body trimming first. And then I will use the uh, timeless mold so you uh, don't need to spend a lot of time watching when I'm trimming. So after a detailed trim, the lid and the body, they are fitting very tight now. The lid is not moving. And I'm ready to assemble the, the uh, spout. And from here, you can see the spout is a little bit, but luckily the uh, get cut uh, more clay up. So the uh, this portion here is a bit smaller. And also I can trim the spout uh, a little bit shorter, so it should be fine. And uh, I always put it behind it and cast a shadow, so I know uh, what, where's the curve that I could trim. And at the roughly trimming, I st st uh, start to uh, slowly uh, fit it until it's fitting nicely. And then uh, I will attach it. And again, I'm going to put it on the uh, fast uh, 
timeless mode so uh, you don't need to spend so much time uh, watching while I'm doing it.